everyone welcome to the waffle flower channel katie gearing here with another throwback thursday this week i'm combining the stitched heart styes with the notion stamp set to create this fun card that's going to be perfect for valentine's day so to start i pulled out the notion stamp set along with the stitched heart die and i kind of arranged the dies onto a panel of white card stock what i want to make sure particularly is that my sentiment that i want to use this love you so much is going to fit inside the large um, stitched heart die so i've got them placed here on the card and then in a moment i'm going to stick them down with some washi tape and run them through my die cut machine in my design, I plan to overlap the smallest of the stitched heart dies with the largest heart die, but I want to make sure that my sentiment is going to fit in there and that the smaller heart die isn't going to overlap the sentiment in any way. So before I determine the placement of that smaller stitched heart die, I'm just going to pop my sentiment back into um, the die cut heart and um, make sure that I see exactly where the two are going to overlap. I'll use a little bit of washi tape to hold that smallest heart die in place and then run it through my die cut machine again. Now I'm ready to do a lot of the stamping within the three stitched heart dies that I have die cut onto the white panel. So I'm starting with my sentiment and I am stamping it in Waffle Flowers My Pleasure ink, which is a really beautiful pinky red. Now I've pulled out the Notion stamp set and I'm going to be pulling out some smaller elements from the stamp set, including these darling little hearts. And I'm going to be adding them inside the largest stitched heart die. I've also pulled out the ink color Tickled Pink, and I'm going to be adding some overlapping hearts to the largest heart die there, um, just to give it a little bit of variation and um, allow for some really nice overlap. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the medium sized heart, which is in the top left corner of the card, and I'm going to include a few images from the set in this heart. So I'm going to do a spool, a button, and then a little thimble. Now that those are stamped, I'm going to focus on the last smallest heart that is in the bottom left corner of the card. And I'm just trying out a few different um, images to see what's going to fit well. The scissors were unfortunately too small, but these um, spools I think are going to look really nice. And so there they are. One of them has been stamped in my pleasure and the other one in tickled pink. Um, and then the spool colors themselves are in the coffee loves milk. With most of my stamping done, it's time to get stitching. So I've pulled out a pack of craft cord and then some stitching needles that have a rather large eye to accommodate. And I'm going to do a running stitch around the um, two hearts that are towards the bottom of the card. So I'm going around the largest of the stitched heart dies and then also the small stitched heart die. I'm going to just use some shades of pink thread to um, to stitch around them here. I really love adding hand stitching to cards and it is something that is really super relaxing. Um, you could even start this card, do a lot of the stamping in your craft room and then bring this piece down to work on maybe in front of the TV when you're hanging out with your family. Um, it's just kind of a nice relaxing task and yet it keeps your hands busy at the same time. So I have tied off that first heart and then with all of the hearts, when I finish stitching, I'm going to secure the back with a little bit of washi tape. So that just makes sure that um, the stitches aren't going to go anywhere or unravel unnecessarily. So I'm going to repeat that for the bottom left heart and now I've moved on to the top um, top left heart and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with this one and I'm going to start a running stitch but instead of going around the heart shape twice to kind of fill in the gaps that are left after the first time I'm going to leave it partially finished and create um, a 3D element combining kind of the stamp set with the thread. So it looks like um, this card is perhaps a, a work in progress. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the Notion stamp set one more time. And you'll notice that one of the images included is a needle. So I'm going to pull that out and then using Leica Pro ink and um, a stamp positioner, I am going to stamp that needle onto the card. 
So I'm not going to lie here. This is probably the part of the card that scares me the most. And I tend to do this with a lot of my cards, which is at the very last minute, add an element, which could ruin it all. Um, so I have gone ahead and I have stamped the needle. And now I'm taking my thread and I am going to um, thread it through the needle. I've just pierced two small holes. And then I'm going to bring the thread back up through and just kind of loop it through um, and trim it off and then leave it so that it looks like the needle is still in process of stitching that top part. Now I'm almost done here but I decide that I want to add a little bit of a decorative edge to the bottom of the panel. So I pulled out the Lacy Layers 2 die and you see what I've done here. I've um, positioned the die so that really only that bottom edge is going to be cut and I'm going to hold it in place with a little bit of washi tape and then I'm also going to very carefully position it onto my die cut machine so that I don't mess up the rest of the stamped panel panel. So the die is in place. I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape there. And then you see how I've got the plates positioned um, in my die cut machine. Really the pressure is only going on to the part of the um, card that I want to have cut by that edge of the die. And I'm not even rolling it all the way through. It's just enough for it to cut and then I'm bringing it back and then it gives me that beautiful scalloped edge detail onto the panel. I'm going to adhere the finished panel to a note card that I made from Pink Cardstock. And just as a final finishing touch, I am going to add just a couple of clear sequins using Ranger's Multi Matte Medium. That's going to be it for me today, but if you have a stamp set or die set that you'd like to see featured on a Throwback Thursday, just leave me a comment below. For more product information, visit waffleflower.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day.